Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. And Airman joins us for a first look at sports. Now, it's been a hectic year and a half for the Lloydminster Bobcats, and all that is because of the RBC Cup. Yeah, pretty much after our city was named the host of that Junior 8 tournament. That changed the way the Bobcats went around their business. And with only a few months to go, Gord Thibodeau and his coaching staff have worked around the clock trying to ice that perfect roster to win it all. This is your second year with the team, but this year has been absolutely crazy for you. From a, over a year ago when they announced the RBC Cup, you guys have been so busy, yep. so hectic. So far, how has it been in the first few months of the season being behind the bench and kind of the main coaching role? It's, you know what, it's, as you mentioned, it's been hectic. Um, more so than any other year I've coached. Uh, it just seems like there's so many things that you're trying to accomplish and get done and that's both on and off the ice, so um, it's been difficult, but you know what, it, it's what we expected, I guess. Um, and we're fortunate to have Gary here, he's gone through the RBC before and uh, knows that there's a lot of work involved and has been eager to pick up some of that slack. Um, but it's certainly not uh, something you could do by yourself. Uh, we have a very confident staff and, um, you know, between Malcolm in the front office and Gary and Chris Weeb. Uh, we're fortunate that uh, you know, we're able to spread the work around and thank God because otherwise it would just be too much for one person. You guys have been so busy so far, probably the busiest team in the AJHL. 1.5 trades in one week or a week and a half. Yeah. So how has it been trying to balance both of those things? Well, the tough part has been, you know, we never intended to have five trades in one week and we didn't want to be the busiest team. Uh, but circumstance sometimes dictates that. And, you know, it's been one of those years where there's not a lot of teams lining up to help us. Um, you know, it's not like guys are phoning us saying, hey, do you want our best player? So we're searching high and low. We're trying to find talent everywhere. It's something we said at the start, and we knew that we had to get better. We liked our team at the start, and we had a great, uh, you know, first two months. But this is about where we're going to be in May. Um, we feel that we still need to improve. We're getting there. Um, the results may not show. But we like what we're formulating here, and then with a couple more little tweaks, we think that we're going to be there. Is this kind of where you want to see yourself? Um, this is very close to where we expected to be. I think this little string of injuries lately has put us in a, maybe a tougher spot than we expected. Uh, for us to close out the first half, uh, it's difficult, you know, when you're short bodies. So that may have an effect on the record. Um, in terms of the style of game we're playing, uh, no, we're not happy. We expected that we'd be, uh, you know, a bit more consistent than we've shown. All right, so if we have to pick a team MVP so Ooh. far, you know, roughly a little more than one-third into the season, who would you pick? Okay, and I can't pick, like, Chris Weave, a coach, no? <laughs> uh, no, it has uh, his own on the ice. <laughs> uh, Alex Leclerc would be, um, I think, the hands-down MVP of this team. He's been the key for us right from day one. Um, so, Alex, uh, in my mind, I mean, there's been a lot of great performances. Uh, but consistency-wise, he's been there virtually every night that he's played, so I would say Alex is. What are you hoping to get out of your boys in the second half of the season? Well, I think the second half's going to be, we're getting closer to the dream, which is once you get in the second half, you're playing for playoffs, and now it's starting to become more important each and every day. That World Bank Cup is getting closer. I expect our excitement level is going to increase tenfold in the second half. Um, and I want us to make sure that we're ready for a long playoff run um, so that we can have the experience necessary uh, to have success uh, May 14th to the 22nd. Well, the foremost Heat closed out 2015 with a tie. They were in Edmonton taking on the Canadian Athletic Club. The Heat looked like they were down and out, but three straight goals in the final nine minutes of the game got them right back into it to salvage a point. Now they're back in action January 2nd at home. It was a slow start for the Bonneville Pontiacs, but a couple of longer win streaks shot them up in the North Division standings. Now we sat down with head coach Rick Swan and Captain Steen Pashenik to get their takes on the year so far. We were happy with where we're at, but we're certainly not satisfied. And, and I know we're a team with a game plan of staying with the process and knowing that you have to go through the process, especially in this league. And it's a saying we are all familiar with. Slow and steady wins the race. The Bonneville Pontiacs would like to think this is their case. A slow start saw them occupy the basement of the North Division, but a few win streaks changed it all. We learned from last year, we missed second place by one point, and uh, every single game in the Alberta Junior Hockey League, if you're not prepared to compete and you're not prepared to work and be at your very best, and 
earn everything, then those points could cost you definitely at the end of the season. Two-thirds into their season, they're sitting second in the north, but have played the most games in the league heading into the break. The blue-collar team knows they won't win games on talent alone, that they pride themselves on playing a simple game. We manufacture our offense by uh, keeping it simple, uh, by taking pucks to the net, uh, first of all forcing goaltenders to make a save and then uh, making sure we got pressure to the net without the puck and uh, you know I just think that we take pride in, in making sure our game is simple enough that, that if we get puck, pucks to the net and we get pressure to the net, we get that commitment from our guys going to the net without the puck. Uh, then we're going to start to create offense uh, just by hard work. That's, it's huge to uh, drive our culture and you know show the younger guys what uh, what our work ethic is like, what it's supposed to be, and uh, you know just never accepting the fact of getting outworked out there, always being the most physical, hardest working team. It's uh, it's it's huge to push that to the young guys. Last year's postseason was the best in franchise history, and it only made the team hungrier for another shot at the playoffs. With a roster that features nearly a dozen rookies, it was tough going in the beginning, but it was their veterans that got things rolling. Just the culture that we're going to drive, that the Pontiacs never quit. Um, you know, we're chasing a championship this year in the AJHL. Obviously, we got uh, high expectations, so I think it, uh, it's definitely going to start from the leadership group and the veteran group, just to push the young guys that uh, we're not going to stop until our season comes to an end. This season saw the emergence of Brinson Pashnik, earning his way as one of the top defensemen in the league. Bobby McMahon proved to be a bona fide goal scorer, and rookies like Olivier Charest has given the team a chance to win each night. As for our team MVP, the coach says it's just not one player. I'd say our leadership group is our MVP right now, and I know that they're going to continue to do and They're going to be playing their best hockey uh, the second half of the season, and, and I got the best seat in the house to be able to watch that, and that's on the bench. You know, if I pick my brother, then I might uh, get it from the team, but if I pick Bobby, I might get it from my brother. So uh, I'll have to pick both of them. They're both having unreal seasons, and um, they're just they're hardworking guys doing anything they can to contribute to the team. It's not just all about talent and skill for them. I mean, they got grit and determination that they'll do anything to win, so I'll have to give it to those two. The Pontiacs return to action January 2nd and 3rd for back-to-back -back road games in Drain Valley.